All right, uh, good evening. This is Luke Thomas, QuakePredictions.com, here at the Earthquake Channel. It is 10 p.m. in the evening on Sunday, November 15th. And uh, we have a three, three warnings, I believe. And one is for the Anchorage area. One is for the Vancouver Islands, Seattle, Washington area. And the other one is for Manila, Philippines. We'll get to those warnings in just a moment. If you can open another window on your uh, computer and go to quakeprediction.com, I'm going to go briefly through the earthquake forecast that we have there on the site. We're going to start with Anchorage, Alaska. And you can see we have a graph of the risk uh, for Alaska. Uh, the last peak you can see on uh, November 7th produced a 5.0 in the Anchorage area. This large peak that's coming up uh, Tomorrow night, Monday night into Tuesday morning is a very strong peak and it should produce about a 5.5 earthquake, between a 5.0 and 6.0 earthquake uh, late on November 16th, Monday night, or Tuesday morning, November 17th. All right, you can click on the map and it'll take you back to the home page. And we're going to briefly make three stops through the uh, California area. We'll start with uh, San Francisco. And actually, let's go back to the front page. We'll, do, uh, we'll start with Eureka, California. All right, the first peak that you see on the Eureka, California forecast is the, the, the peak that produced the 5.3 in East Central California uh, early in the morning on the 13th. And then we have a peak a spike in risk on uh, late on the November 17th, which should produce about a 3.4 in Northern California or somewhere in that area. Uh, 3.9 is possible on uh, November 21st. Okay, let's go down to San Francisco. You can click on the map there. And <clears throat> you can see clearly that the 5.3 earthquake that occurred early in the morning on the 13th was caused by that strong peak and spike in risk on the 11th through the 13th there. And then uh, on 4 in the morning, this coming morning, on Monday morning, the risk goes up to 41%. So there should be a, a 3.0 to 3.5 earthquake uh, in California on the morning of uh, Monday morning sometime. And now we're going to go down to the Los Angeles forecast. Similar situation there. 5.3 earthquake occurred on that peak in risk on the 11th through the 13th. And now a 3.1 earthquake is possible uh, in the morning of Monday morning, tomorrow morning, uh, November 16th. San Diego is similar to that. So we're going to go on our next uh, link to Seattle, Washington area, which includes uh, the Vancouver Island forecast as well. And you'll see on our Seattle forecast that we have a warning for a 5.6 to 6.0 earthquake, likely west of Seattle. Uh, near Vancouver Island around uh, 9 p.m. on Tuesday evening, November 17th. So around 9 p.m. Tuesday, November 17th, a strong earthquake out near the Vancouver Island, west of Seattle. And then a much larger earthquake, a 7.0 to 7.2 earthquake is likely on November 21st, and that hasn't come up on our graph yet there. All right, let's take our little journey around the world. On our next forecast, we're going to go to Athens, Greece. And we have a 61% chance of risk on, on November 21st. So just a moderate risk there on the 21st. And then uh, in Santiago, Chile, uh, about a 3.0 earthquake is likely on the November 19th. And then back to the home page, Costa Rica. San Jose, Costa Rica, a 3.5 earthquake earthquake is possible on the 17th or the 19th, and you can see that on the graph there on quakeprediction.com. Cyprus is a little peak in risk on the 19th and the 20th, which should produce about a 3.1 earthquake. Down in Quito, Ecuador, uh, about a 3.0 earthquake on the 20th of November. And Indonesia, Jakarta, Indonesia. Now there's a, a more, more significant uh, risk in uh, Jakarta, and it looks like it's peaking out 100% risk on, <clears throat> excuse me, on November 18th. 
which should produce at least a 4.0. 4.0 to 5.0 earthquake is likely near Jakarta, Indonesia uh, on the 18th of November, coming up on, I believe, uh, Wednesday. So we're going to go back to the front page and click on Istanbul. Again, a 3.0 earthquake is possible on the 21st in Istanbul, uh, Turkey. And then in uh, Bologna, Italy, a 3.0 earthquake is possible on the uh, late on the 20th into the 21st. And uh, New Zealand, uh, there was a 5.7 earthquake south of New Zealand on that large peak you see on the on the graph there in Wellington, New Zealand. And then on the 21st, there could be a, a 3.0 to 3.2 on the 21st there in uh, Wellington, New Zealand. And the Japan, the Tokyo forecast, the risk is overall is pretty low, maybe a 3.0 on the 18th in, J in Tokyo, Japan. All right, here's our, uh, the other third warning we have, uh, and this is for if you know anybody in the Manila, Philippines, looking for a significant earthquake, maybe a 5.0 to 5.5 earthquake during the next 36 to 48 hours, late on Monday evening on uh, November 16th into early 17th, and you'll see that probably in the news coming up. 5.0 to 5.5 earthquake is likely in the Manila, Philippines, late on the 16th of November. And that's coming up in the next few hours, actually, in Manila, Philippines, because they're ahead of us by about 13 hours. All right, 13 or 14 hours. And now we're going to Lima, Peru, and just a little 3.0 is possible on the 18th and the 19th in Lima, Peru. And one more forecast to look at, and that is uh, Taiwan, and the risk is pretty low at 37% risk on the 17th into the 18th. So again, we have three warnings, one for the Anchorage area, where a, a 5.0 to 6.0 earthquake is likely during the next uh, 48 hours or so, the 16th, Monday into the Tuesday, the 17th. You can see that on quakeprediction.com. Click on the Anchorage forecast. And then again for Seattle, Seattle, Washington, a 7.0 quake is likely on the... Uh, November 21st, a 5.6 to 6.0 is likely west of Seattle near Vancouver Island uh, in the evening of November 17th, which is Tuesday evening. And then also the Manila, Philippines, 5.0 to 5.5 is likely during the next uh, 36 hours in that area. So thanks for uh, watching our forecast today. Please uh, subscribe to our videos. We're going to keep you updated on any warnings around the world. And uh, we work very closely in California, so our, our best forecast is in California. We have more forecasts uh, in that area, but we do uh, very well around the world as well. So thank you again, and uh, please subscribe to our videos, and we will talk to you after these earthquakes occur and give you another update. Thank you so much.